I came in to check out the town of Roanoke, Texas on my way to a gig at TF Vineyard in Boyd. Roanoke is a pretty small and mellow town of about 10,000 people. It's one of those small towns that say has that small town charm and that big city vibe. And Roanoke is right in the heart of the Metroplex. So it's actually midway between Fort Worth and Dallas. And Fort Worth and Dallas aren't that far from Roanoke, really. 22 miles up from Fort Worth, so about 30 minutes of a drive. And it's 33 miles from Dallas. It's also midway between Fort Worth and Denton, and it's regarded as a suburb of Fort Worth. So this town goes back to the late 1800s when they first started up the railroad around here. And it got the name Roanoke because the surveyor of the railroad in Roanoke, Virginia, was also the surveyor of the railroad here. And even though the town is small today with a population of around 10,000, the population has been uh, growing pretty rapidly. It almost doubled today compared to the year 2010. So Roanoke is regarded as the unique dining capital of Texas. So you can find a lot of those dining opportunities here. Presumably they are unique dining opportunities. The main area where you can find them is Oak Street. And this is a pretty cool street. I had a good time parking uh, and walking around up the street and checking out all the buildings. Kind of nice and peaceful and a lot of trees lining the streets along these buildings too. So it's cool to just see everything and relax on this uh, Saturday day. They do have a lot of community events here and a lot of conveniences. And uh, this walk along Oak Street actually ends right there at the Roanoke City Hall building. So it's kind of a cool building. You could see just peeping out over everything over there. And I believe they host a farmer's market right in the back of that. Another notable thing they got here is their water tower. This was actually a functioning water tower that really helped the city grow. They put it up in the time of the Great Depression. Today it doesn't serve water for the residents, but it's still up there as a historical thing. They're good about preserving their historical past here in Roanoke. And being the unique dining capital of Texas, and I believe there is an emphasis on dining there, which I think when you use the word dining, you can refer to a little bit more upscale or uh, fancier or fine food type places that you might find. But they got a whole mixture of uh, food opportunities here. From Italian and Thai and Mexican and just a whole variety. Barbecue too, of course. I'll just list out some of them that I saw walking around. Uh, one of them was Bayou Jack's Cajun Grill. Then there was Babe's Chicken Dinner House. And I found Oak Street Pie Company. And Dizzy Lizzie's Hard Eight Barbecue. And Inzo Kitchen, an Italian place. So when I went looking for food, I ended up finding Las Molcajetes, which is a Mexican restaurant, and they served me up a huge dish with tons of food. In terms of music on this strip, the one of the major spots is Soul Fire Brewing Company. I've seen some live music featured there. The other one is Chop Shop. This place is owned by Randy Rogers, and they got some real big musical events. I checked it out on a weekday when they had an open mic night hosted by the Texas Music Network and hosted by Jason Custer and Andrew Plank. And I scoped out that big old stage that they got in the back where you can catch some really big artists and some really big music events here in Roanoke. But ultimately, I drove up to the Boyd area for the gig at TF Vineyard. They were having their Vendors in the Vineyard event, and so folks were out with some uh, stuff that they were vending, and a lot of folks were hanging out there drinking some wine. They got some fine wines here at TF Vineyard, and they got some awards that testify to how good they are at making wine here. So I had a good time playing for this crowd, hanging out on this uh, nice Saturday afternoon. It's a long road back home, it's a long road back to where I'm from. It's a different time, different place It's a rusty old car and a wrinkled face Smelly socks and muddy shoes And a mother who's about to cry Got a bookshelf filled with empty booze Another death in a DUI so thanks for checking out this video. I'm posting all about the music scene of Texas and touring around Texas. So check out the tons of videos that I've got on my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts here. Let me know in the comments what else I should be checking out. And thanks for your support.